Australia. They're a country with a very high incidence of respiratory and sleeping problems. I struggled a bit to get to sleep because I was anxious. And I struggled a bit in the morning because I was anxious because my normal behaviour was to stick a mask in my face. And I struggled for about three days. But getting over that, it was just being confident. It's like learning to drive a car or to go on a bike or to swim. These are skills that you learn and once you've internalised that behaviour, it stays with you. Dysfunctional breathing is internalised behaviour. Something has knocked our breathing off. And for somebody to turn around and say to you, you get all of these symptoms because you don't breathe properly, you think they're absolutely nuts. I did. You know, how can it just be breathing? Everybody breathes. Of course we do it properly. We do it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But we're one of the animals that has voluntary control of our breathing, or volitional control. And because we've got voluntary control, something knocks it off. We take control of our breathing. And it means the natural way that kicks off our breathing reflex gets lost. And for lots of us, it means that we run an adrenaline drive, which is adrenaline makes us breathe deeper, and it stimulates our upper chest to breathe. The medications and the CPAP machines that we use for dysfunctional breathing stimulate our upper chest to breathe and it stops our diaphragm working. So our whole body in a conflict every day is fighting because the diaphragm needs to engage to breathe properly and we're volunteering to use our upper chest. So our whole body becomes exhausted. What we're doing over the next week is taking away the things that cause the overbreathing, allowing your breathing to go back into a normal pattern. As you go into a normal pattern, your body relaxes. As your body relaxes, you get better sleep quality, you get less stressors, and in fact, you just turn out to be a happier, healthier person. I'm going to challenge you all to breathe through your nose for the course of the next 24 hours. But for some people that might prove a bit difficult because from time to time your nose tends to get a bit blocked. My name is Jared Lavery. I just got a phone call from the health centre in Shettleston to contact John McGowan to come in and see them. But before I actually came in here, I went on the internet and checked it all out and read up about it. But the, the Russian person actually discovered this. Well, basically I've been going to doctors and whatever for the past two and a half years they seem to get nowhere because I've always been tired, lethargic and no energy and uh, I've done hypnosis, acupuncture, you name it I've tried it all. I've even done a thing called the Linden Method um, and I've been here for just about a week and I've been more active in this week than I have been in the past couple of years. I run my own business and I'm always tired, lethargic, whatever. Uh, can I get to sleep? You know, that type of thing. But since I've been here, I actually wouldn't even go out after I leave my work at night. It's the first time I've actually been out for a period of a full week. You know, I usually leave my work, go home, and that's me. You know, you get a wee bit depressed with it as well. You know, and I think this has really helped. Funny enough, I've always had kind of cold feet and cold legs. And just only the past couple of, couple of days, I've noticed that actually at the moment, my feet's hot and they've always been cold. Basically, what I've done this week has probably been more helpful for me than anything else in the past couple of years. My name's Nancy Laurie. Well, my husband was invited here as, from the doctor's surgery as he has um, sleep apnea. And whilst he was here, he told Paul that I don't sleep. And Paul invited me to come the next night. I didn't want to come. And I thought, no, I don't like to come. It's, and he says, just come along and try it. And so I came along, um, not expecting anything. And I have had three good nights sleep. I've slept all night. I'm so glad I came because I, I, I've slept for the first time in years. I go to my bed and I wake up like every half hour or every hour and that's been going on for years. My neighbours know that I used to get up at three in the morning and do the ironing, so they were all pretending they were coming over with the ironing. That's been going on for years and years. And this is the first time I've slept from 10 o'clock to five o'clock in the morning, and it's wonderful. <laughs> I was a bit nervous, because I've never came to him like this before, and um, when Paul started saying about the breathing, and I was going, oh, I didn't want to try it, but I just went along with everybody else. Um, felt a bit silly at first, but that's me. And um, when we went home, I was, we tried it all again, and I was so excited, and I went, we went to bed, that was it. Did what I was told, didn't put the tape on the first night, 
but the next night I put it on and fabulous. That was it. Just brilliant. Yeah, I do a lot of uh, jogging and things like that and never knew how to breathe properly. Our coach in the running race, she says, just breathe whatever makes you comfortable. But um, I now know to breathe through my nose in and out and that'll be it. But I have been trying as I've been walking along the road and things, so it will work. I'm smiling in the morning. I haven't slept in the afternoon. I'm not as grumpy. That's another good thing. So it'll benefit both of us. Well, he's smiling as well because he said two nights without his sleep apnea machine. David had, was snoring for years and not waking up all night, so therefore with him doing that, I couldn't sleep. Then when he um, got the sleep apnea diagnosed, I was still waiting because I couldn't hear him snoring and I kept thinking there's something wrong, so therefore I was still not sleeping. So it was like a vicious circle. Um, and this is the way it's been going on for years. And I think I've just been getting used to not sleeping. And I'm so desperate, I was so desperate to sleep. I have been sleeping for three days and I'm so happy. <laughs> I have been here now for five days. Uh, and I've found that the breathing technique has, has, has actually just sort of transformed my tiredness and also I haven't been using you on just a machine for two nights. I have been very, very relaxed. I don't wake up in the morning actually with a phlegm. I actually feel fine. In fact, I've had the sleep up machine for 12 years. 12 years I've had it. Yeah, it didn't matter where I went. I was always, a uh, oak is always falling asleep and then I'd start snoring. I would keep everybody awakened. So I went to the doctor because, I, because it was getting to the stage I, 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 where my wife was getting really fed up because I was keeping her waiting, plus the family all night. I would get sent to the Garden Evil Hospital and that's where they operated on the soft palate at the back of my throat. It worked for a, a couple of days and then I went back to normal, which meant it was a waste of money. And after that, a, a doctor, for, a doctor for Shenta, who was a young girl there, when she said to me that I'd sleep apnea. But she told me I stopped breathing during the night, which I went, what? He says, yeah, when you stop breathing just so many times per hour, per night, and that's why you're waking up tired. This has been definitely something else. It, 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 oh, it should, it should be funded, and because I think this will actually just help a lot of people that suffer. Oh, I'm not actually talking just, just snorers and people man, actually sleep apnea. And folk, man, with asthma, I think people who have got insomnia, which my wife has, and she came along with me, and she's had three nights sleep, which is not known since I've known her, and I've known her a long time. Yeah, because I've been married to her 40 years. So uh, she is now getting a quality of sleep, and she stopped nagging me for a while. <laughs> Honestly, just going to recommend this, and I'll be probably actually going to my doctor, and I'm going to tell him this has been brilliant, and actually to recommend other people to come to it. My name's Eddie Amato. I've been diagnosed with sleep apnea oh, almost ten years ago. Um, eventually, I went on to a CPAP respirator. Um, the pressure of the, the air was irritating my tongue. Um, I was losing the taste of my food. Um, the internal part of the mask was cutting into my gums as well. Um, my mouth was a, quite a mess. And I had seen my local GP um, a few months back and, and they had mentioned Boteco to me. I didn't quite understand it. I let her a few weeks ago asking if I was interested in 
and, and trying it as an alternative remedy to the CPAP respirator. And I thought, well, I'm, I'm not sleeping. I'm, my health has been terrible because my lack of sleep and it's caused me all sorts of problems. So I was sceptical. I'd heard that the, the um, that people with asthma had benefited from it. But I wondered about asthma. You can see people having attacks that I have relations uh, suffer from it, and I see them with inhalers and things. But basically, it's when I fell asleep, and I thought, when you fall asleep, you fall asleep. You know, you, how can you control things when you're sleeping? But I, I was willing willing to try because uh, the, my quality of life has been really poor over the last couple of years. But for the last three nights I've went without using my CPAP respirator and um, I haven't woken up. I, I'm normally up during the night two or three times go to the toilet and things. Even while using the CPAP respirator I've, I've had apnea attacks and I've, I've kicked my wife, I've punched my wife, I've elbowed her. She hasn't had a, a decent night's sleep in years. And in the last three nights, she said it's the best three nights sleep that she's had. In fact, she, she looked up the internet to see what Paul looked like so that if she meets him in the street, she can thank him. I'll need to tell him that, that if a, a strange woman comes up and, and, uh, and starts thanking him, uh, it's probably my wife. Um, I, I feel fresher now. Um, when I was getting up in the morning before, I was still feeling tired, but uh, I'd maybe get a cup of coffee, I'd have two sips out of it, and I'd nod off to sleep again. Um, and, and, uh, but I've been up, I mean, today I've been out, I've got up, and my wife was going to work before seven o'clock this morning. Um, once she'd went out to work, I, I've been out and about all day, you know, uh, from early morning, get back in. Uh, you know, in the afternoon. Um, I've never had stamina like that <laughs> for quite a long time. I'm aware um, that sometimes I do breathe through my mouth, or that I'm now still breathing through my mouth, but um, I realised that I was doing that all the time. Um, I was always breathing through my mouth, but I didn't realise the importance of it. Um, and I, I do realise now, um, when, I, when I was putting the tape across my mouth going to bed at night, I thought, I'm going to end up ripping this off so that I can breathe. But uh, I've been really surprised that the tape's still been there in the morning. And my wife is telling me that I haven't had any apnea attacks. See, I, I was never aware that it was happening to me. My, my snoring was so bad it disturbed the neighbours. Um, it was so loud um, that I, I was expecting it to be the charge of a breach of the peace because of my snoring. I was on holiday and the people in the rooms either side of me, um, they mentioned to my wife, they never mentioned to me um, when the women were talking to each other that I was disturbing their sleep because of my snoring. Uh, we, we live in a one bedroom flat. She got up and lying in a city in the living room. And then when I got up out of bed, she'd have to go back into bed and maybe not getting up to two, three in the afternoon. You know, basically, we were sleeping in shifts. One thing that she said this morning, it was wonderful to turn around and give me a cuddle this morning. As she says in the same Glasgow to Curie in, um, an expression to, to cuddle each other. And that hasn't happened for a long time because I've had all sorts of tubes, you know, and, coming for the CPAP respirator. Somebody said earlier in the week, you know, CPAP respirator is a passion colour, and, and it certainly is. You know, as I say this morning, before you get up, it's good just to lie and sort of lie close to each other without, you know, the restriction. Of, if I tried to do that before, you know, my head would get caught and pulled back, and, you know, and um, we feel closer. Um, it's brought us closer again, um, and I can't complain about that. The other thing she was saying is, previously when I was getting up in the morning, I was grey looking. Um, as I would say in Glasgow, a peely bally tally. Um, but now she, she says I've got a bit of colour. I'm getting up in the morning, the last few mornings she's noticed that um, 
I'm, I'm looking a bit better, I've got colour in my face. I don't look like death anymore. It, it's made a vast difference in, in, in the last week, the last five days to me. This time last week I couldn't have been here. I would have been asleep. Everybody knows that, that I suffer from that, but nobody ever thought about how it was affecting my wife. She was tired all the time as well, and it felt so good this morning just to, to cure in and for a few minutes before we were getting up to face the day. Um, it helps you face the world uh, much better as well. And, and um, I mean, she, she, she tries not to complain, but I feel really bad about how it does affect her because um, people say, oh, it must be terrible because you, you suffer from sleep deprivation. But she suffered from sleep deprivation as well. And, and I'm sure that there's a lot of couples probably split up, that many couples are probably split up and their relationships have just, they've just not managed to cope with each other because of the sort of things that we've been going through. And she kept saying, well, we'll get better, we'll work out, you know. And, and it just seems like this morning it all came together and I feel, you know, I feel, I feel like there's light at the end of the tunnel now. Whereas before, you keep thinking to yourself, is this, is this a way, you know, is this, is this a way I have to accept life? And now I realise that, that because of a breathing technique that I thought at the beginning of the week possibly might work, probably wouldn't, but, you know, and, and it has, it's helped me, it's helped us, it's not just me, but my wife as well, it's helped to both of us immensely.